So it's a bit early this morning. It's um, well, it's not that early. It's about half past seven, and um, yeah, it's a bit grey and drizzly. It's 15 degrees here, and um, we're going to go and have a quick look at the canal down by Sorby Bridge, and uh, hopefully it might be all right to get down to Salter Hevel. Don't know. I've never particularly done that bit before, so we will see. It's a Sunday, so there's lots of cyclists out on the road, even though it's a bit drizzly. Got to get the board first, haven't we? Can't go anywhere without the board. And you've got to make sure you put your ratchets on properly because nobody wants a paddleboard flying off a car in front of them into the road while they're driving along on a Sunday morning now, do they? First things first though, let's go and check to see if there's actually any water in the canals. Because part of the problem here, and not just here, but like right along the the whole inland waterway network over the last few months is because it's been so hot um, a lot of the water has actually been uh, been removed I suppose you could say from the from the canal network through evaporation and it's just and also through because we're in the summer there's lots of people who don't really know what they're doing coming through the locks in uh, rented narrow boats and not shutting the locks properly so let's have a little quick look, shall we? That doesn't look so bad now, does it? Yeah, look, I can get in over there. Right, let's have a little look. It's very nice here, you know, Sorby Bridge. You can have a... There's the locks up there. Hear the magpies going... <laughs> so, yeah, this is a bit of... Um the canal here at Sorby Bridge where we're putting in and that's one of the rental or rental uh, narrow boats nearly called it a kayak a lot of people live down here I guess so here's the thing just behind me there you can see um, in fact there's a couple of a uh, couple of anglers down there and one of the things to um, to always be aware of on canals like this well and rivers generally really it's just courtesy is that we share them with everybody and so um, if you see anglers on the bank like that rather than uh, just cracking straight down the middle like you would do on the rest always go to the far side and try and sort of reduce your strokes or the splashiness of it really and um, just sort of you know, that way we can uh, we can keep up our good reputation with the angling community and not behave like idiots. So many years ago, this was uh, quite had quite an industrial heritage really around here. So if you look uh, look at that over there, you can see some of the clues. Not quite the same these days, though, but um, still. Actually, the Calder Valley does very well, and I'll tell you where it's particularly successful is, uh, is the area of um, innovation and IT and, uh, you know, places like Sorby Bridge and Halifax and, and uh, Hebden Bridge have got really quite thriving sort of digital economies now, and, uh, you know, it, they don't take stuff lying down around here. It's actually very beautiful around here, really. Look at this. It's like a green tunnel. Again, very pretty round here, but for a different reason. This is Copley Footbridge, and the world's runners seem to be out today, like every few seconds. Good balance. Uh, yeah.
Yet more runners. <laughs> Run, forest. Isn't it beautiful, though? Come on. So this is Copley. And um, I can just see over there. I wonder if I can zoom in on them. Yeah. Look, there's the, the uh, Canada geese with their babies, goslings. And there we go, down there. Too, so just mind the goslings. Now paddling on the canals may not be the same as in a lagoon in Tahiti, but it's got other things going for it, which particularly is um, the fact that it's just very interesting. Look at that. You know. There's all sorts of people live here. So we've got where we're going to um, on this particular trip, which is Salter Hebel. You can just see there the Calder Valley Greenway Towpath Code of Conduct, um, which on the whole seems to have been adhered to by everybody today. Um, what I would say is I've seen about probably 30, 40 people on bikes, maybe 50, 60 people running, Good few walkers, but no other paddle boarders, and no kayakers for that matter either. So I'm quite sure what's going on there. So if you do want a tranquil little paddle on a Sunday, Sawy Bridge to Colt to uh, Salt Hebel seems like a reasonable little run. Because I wanted to show you something here. You see, because obviously you saw how um, parked up down at, uh, at Sawy Bridge. If you want to come the other way, this is leads this road that's just in the background here actually leads pretty much straight up to the m62 and uh, so if you come down there you can actually just park here by the canal in um in salter hebel and it's actually a bit easier really i suppose from that perspective sort of bridge is nice it's a good place to go in but um sometimes for convenience sake Look, right, there you go, in the background there, that's the parking and it's just straight off the road there and um, it's lovely, it's actually quite nice here, you've got two or three little locks and um, just beyond those those trees there is a, a kind of general mooring area for, for narrow boats, there's a little community of people who live down here as well, there's probably about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 narrow boats there, so it's all good and now it's time to head back to Sully Bridge. Morning. Is there? Right, okay, I'll keep my eyes out. So, and here's the other narrow boat. Also having a very nice Sunday morning. Morning. You know it's waterproof? It is, but I'm not going in. Not going in? No. So yeah, I'm back now, and um, that was very nice. The uh, one of the things about going through a relatively narrow valley like the Calder Valley is that um, that when you've got obviously Britain's got natural uh, west to east um, wind tendencies, it does tend to get a little bit blustery down there. So most of the way back had various sort of like nothing and then completely strong gusts trying to sort of like 
uh, smack me head first off the board, but um, they didn't, I'm glad to say. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. So coming from Salter Hebel towards Sorry Bridge is uh, can be a little bit harder than going towards Salter Hebel from Sorry Bridge. Anyway, it's been very pleasant and um, no other paddle borders, so get yourself down. Oh, and as they say on all these good videos, make sure you subscribe for more like this. <laughs>